There are moments when animals can truly astonish us. In this scenario, a wolf comes across a baby in the aftermath of a car accident and makes an unexpected decision. The air was filled with an eerie silence, disrupted only by the horrifying crash of a car down an embankment. The vehicle had suffered a blown tire, causing the woman driving to lose control. It veered off the road, rolling down a short hill. Amid the chaos, the woman was thrown from the car, accompanied by the sounds of metal breaking, a baby crying, and shattering glass. The car eventually came to a halt, and an unsettling quiet settled in, even the baby had stopped crying, seemingly in shock. The woman, groaning in pain and unconscious, was unable to focus on her surroundings. The air was thick with smoke, and the car seat, partially ejected from the vehicle, still held the baby, fastened onto it as it lay on its side. Suddenly, a wolf emerged from the woods, sniffing the air, and approached the injured mother. Detecting the scent of blood and her deteriorating condition, the wolf then turned its attention to the car seat near the smoking vehicle. With the smoke intensifying, the wolf gripped the car seat and tugged at it, prompting the baby to cry once more. As the wolf examined the baby, the mother stirred from her slumber, catching a glimpse of the massive wolf standing near her child. She then noticed the wolf's exposed teeth, a menacing sight that left her on the verge of screaming. However, she lost consciousness again. Unseen by the woman, the wolf diligently gnawed at the straps holding the baby in place. Once freed, the wolf gently lifted the baby by her clothing and carried her into the woods. Meanwhile, the woman had a mobile app set to automatically alert the police and emergency services in the event of a car accident. Help was on the way, arriving just in the nick of time to witness the car starting to ignite and burn in the wooded area. Simultaneously, they dispatched a search and rescue expert named Nolan Stevens, the first to arrive and promptly spring into action. Nolan hurried towards the vehicle, attempting to inspect the inside for survivors. However, the raging fire prevented him from getting too close. Being a seasoned veteran, he wasn't one to easily back down, and he might have considered forcing the door open. Fortunately, that proved unnecessary, as he spotted the woman on the hill where she had been thrown from the vehicle. She was barely breathing, and he refrained from moving her, considering the potential for a neck injury that could result in paralysis. Knowing the risks, he chose not to take any chances unless her breathing stopped. When the ambulance arrived, he released a breath he didn't realize he had been holding. Recognizing the severity of her injuries, particularly the critical head injury, the EMTs acted swiftly yet carefully, loading her into the ambulance. Halfway to the hospital, the woman began to regain consciousness. Though she could barely speak, she immediately started calling for someone named Anna. Despite attempts to calm her down, she persistently asked about her baby. It was then that they realized there was another person involved in the car crash. Unable to turn back, the urgency was clear. The mother needed immediate hospital care. The paramedics radioed the news to the other first responders, alerting them to the presence of a baby in need of rescue. Nolan, being the closest and most experienced, cursed himself for not searching the area earlier. Turning back to the scene, he found the car's fire extinguished but still in bad shape. Initially, he feared the worst, assuming the baby might not have survived if inside during the fire. Hoping for a miracle, Nolan's eyes focused on the car, where he noticed a trail of drag marks leading away from it. Determined, he followed these marks and eventually discovered the car seat hidden among some bushes. The relief was immense, had the car seat been too close to the vehicle, it could have posed a severe risk to the baby due to smoke and fumes. However, surprisingly, the car seat had been pulled a considerable distance away from the burning car, providing little Anna a fighting chance. Ready to pick up the baby and take her home, Nolan flipped the car seat over. To his astonishment, there was no baby in the seat. Moreover, the safety belt on the car seat had been crudely cut with jagged edges, creating a baffling scene. The baby had vanished. As Nolan conducted his investigation, he came across a chilling sight, massive paw prints that he recognized as belonging to a very large wolf. If a wolf had taken the baby, 
was it already too late to help her? Determined to find out, Nolan decided to follow the tracks, hoping to provide the family with closure. While focusing on the positive and convincing himself that the baby was safe, the opposite was just too unthinkable to bear. Nolan promptly informed his team about his mission to rescue the baby and set out without delay. Carrying a backpack containing essential hiking gear, he ensured he was well prepared for the journey. Within minutes of discovering the car seat, time was of the essence, and the rest of the team would join him as soon as possible. Nolan diligently pursued the wolf's tracks as far as daylight allowed. However, an obstacle loomed on his path, the onset of darkness. As night fell, he was forced to halt his search. Armed with a flashlight, overlooking any crucial clues could make the difference between locating the baby and losing her forever. Unable to bear the thought of retreating to his comfortable warm bed while a baby was out there in the darkness, Nolan was determined not to waste time by returning home and then coming back. Instead, he would wait right there until the first light of morning. After informing his team of his intentions, he established a makeshift camp. If the baby was anywhere close, he was determined to find her as quickly as he could. Nolan couldn't sleep much, and with every wolf call, he feared that something was happening to little Anna. In the cold night, he could do nothing but worry about the baby. Besides being likely with a wolf, she had also just been in a terrible car accident. She might have serious injuries that needed attending. It was a bad situation all around. The only silver lining in this grim situation was that Anna's mother reached the hospital, and they determined that her spine and neck were both unharmed, which was quite remarkable considering how she had been thrown from the vehicle. However, they did discover that she had suffered severe head injuries. The doctors had to make the hard choice of putting her in an induced coma, allowing her to heal. The doctors were very concerned about the bad shape she was in. In some small way, Nolan was grateful that they didn't have to tell a mother that her baby was lost in the woods or that wolf tracks were their only lead to find her. For now, the mother was in blissful ignorance of the danger her baby was in. But the rest of the family weren't as lucky. Anna's father just wanted to go out and find her himself. They assured him that more experienced professionals were handling the situation. The best he could do was to stay by his wife's side and be strong for her. It was hard. Nolan had been on many rescue missions, both when he was in the service and while doing search and rescue, but this was the most worried he had ever been. In most instances, he had searched for adults or, at the very least, teenagers who could make some efforts to survive until they were located. However, in this case, they were dealing with a helpless baby, not even a year old, who had no means to care for herself. She relied entirely on them to rescue her, and they would need to do it fast. He was going to do everything in his power to make that happen. The moment that it was light enough to see, he set off again. The day was cold, but Nolan didn't want to think of what that could mean for the baby. The wolf tracks led him past a few dens that he knew had been used by the wolf family in the area in the past. There were a lot of tracks overlapping each other. Nolan had to be careful. He was very experienced, but he was just one man. In the event of a wolf pack attacking him, Nolan knew he wouldn't stand much of a chance. Moreover, if the wolves sensed any threat to their offspring, they would likely react aggressively. But he wasn't thinking of his own safety. He needed to locate the child with trembling hands and a heavy heart. Cautiously, he illuminated the den with his flashlight, anxious about both the wolves and the potential discoveries he might make. Finding the baby was his priority, yet he was also fearful of what condition she might be in. Would this accident leave lasting scars on their hearts? It was a possibility he could not ignore, but he had to push through his own feelings and continue. The first den was abandoned, with even spiderwebs at the entrance. The wolves hadn't been there for a while. He checked all the dens in the area, realizing that it had taken away some precious time he should have used to search for her. Going past those dens added another complication to an already horrible day. The overlapping paw prints made it challenging to figure out which belonged to the wolf he had been tracking. Losing the tracks now would be the end of any hope they had left. 
Returning to the last point where he had seen the tracks, he carefully moved forward, ensuring he kept track of the wolf he was following. Eventually, he emerged from the other end, still recognizing which paw prints to look out for. As he moved further, the terrain became more familiar, an area he had explored before, saving teenagers on an adventure in these woods. The woods seemed deceptively easy to navigate, but if one wasn't careful, they could lose the trail and get completely lost. There were cabins around the area with basic supplies for emergencies, but that didn't help Nolan now. The tracks didn't lead to the cabins, instead, they took him up into the mountains. The realization hit him when he started to recognize the destination, a remote cabin in the woods usually occupied by park rangers and occasional biologists. Wolves are typically shy, so it was strange that this one was heading straight towards people. The worst part was that the cabin had been abandoned for months. Nolan moved faster with a good idea of where he was going. The wolf had found the baby after the car accident and brought her into the woods. The unthinkable was about to happen as he reached the clearing where the cabin stood. There, on the porch, he found something that would change his outlook forever. Expecting to find a wolf that had harmed the baby, Nolan saw a wolf napping in the sun, with a tiny baby tucked in its side. The baby wasn't crying, which worried Nolan. He wanted to get her medical treatment quickly, but first, he had to separate her from the wolf that cuddled her like a puppy. Then something strange happened the moment the wolf saw Nolan. It stood up, and Nolan waited for signs of aggression, flare gun in hand as a precaution. However, it wasn't necessary. The wolf looked down at the baby, then got off the porch and walked away. The wolf's behavior suggested it simply wanted to reunite the baby with her own kind, seeking help for her. Reflecting on everything that happened, it was shocking to realize that the wolf had never been a threat. In fact, it saved the baby, first, it had taken her away from the burning vehicle, likely assuming the mother wouldn't survive. So, it attempted to bring the baby to other humans who could care for her. The wolf paused at the forest's edge, gazing at the baby for a brief moment, then turned and left. Nolan quickly rushed over to the baby. Despite the cold day, the baby was warm, the wolf's cuddles had kept her from freezing. The level of empathy this wolf had shown was simply amazing. However, it didn't mean the baby was safe. She had bruises from the car accident, though no bite marks or signs of the wolf being rough with her. They had to get her to the hospital as soon as possible. Nolan had just picked her up when something horrifying happened, the baby stopped breathing. There was no time to hike out of the woods, she needed help right now. Nolan immediately administered mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Her heart was still beating, albeit faintly, so compressions weren't necessary, which was a relief to Nolan. After a few breaths, the child started breathing again. Nolan wasn't taking any chances. He called for help and then took the baby to a nearby clearing. As he walked, he looked back and saw the wolf following them, still invested in ensuring the baby would be okay. Having a wolf stalking him should have been unsettling, but in an unusual way, it was comforting to Nolan. It made him feel like he wasn't entirely alone in the daunting responsibility of caring for this little life. Nolan had helped save many lives in his time in the service and had been in many stressful situations. Still, looking down at the tiny, fragile little girl in his arms, he had never been more afraid in his life. It was a massive relief when the chopper arrived with paramedics. Nolan could hand the baby over, and they could get her to the hospital, where her anxious family awaited her arrival. The baby had a few injuries, but they could all be fixed relatively easily. If it weren't for the help of a man and a wolf, that might not have been the case. A few days later, the mother was brought out of her induced coma, and the first face she saw was that of her husband holding Anna. The baby was happily chewing on her hands, as perfect as any baby could be. The baby was safe, and the mother was going to heal completely. A few months later, the couple expressed their appreciation in another way. Nolan took the family to the old cabin where he found the wolf and the baby. The family wanted to revisit the site, and while looking around, a movement caught Nolan's eyes. 
The wolf was once again standing at the edge of the forest, looking at the baby and watching them intently. After a few seconds, just as quickly as the wolf appeared, it went back into the forest and was gone. The wolf got to see that the baby it had saved was healthy and well, and for that, her family would love both Nolan and the wolf forever. The man found an elephant standing motionless in the middle of the road. In order to find out the truth of the matter, the man decided to approach it, but the scene before him stunned him. Mason is a veterinarian who works in a large wildlife reserve. Mason loved animals from a very young age and always did his best to help those animals in need. He loved his work very much because he could spend more time with various animals, including lions, deer, and elephants. In their work, veterinarians have a fixed process. In the morning, they spend most of their time patrolling all animals to see if they have any discomfort or changes. The changes that occur in an animal sometimes mean good news, such as that it is recovering from a disease or growing, but these changes can also mean something terrible, such as that the animals are suffering from a certain disease. Mason always respected and loved animals, and he was always careful with them. Although people often told him that all animals seemed to trust him, he still took all necessary precautions. Mason has never forgotten that they are wild animals. Although these animals live in wildlife reserves, he has witnessed too many casualties. After a routine examination, Mason likes to do something meaningful, such as traveling alone. On a trip, he discovered a secluded mountaintop. Since then, he often goes there in his spare time to enjoy the breathtaking scenery. It is his secret location, and he has never told anyone. On this day, Mason finished his daily patrols very early, and he couldn't wait to go to his secret base. However, just as Mason was driving there, he noticed a strange animal a few meters ahead, a lonely elephant standing motionless. Although Mason had been in close contact with many wild animals, he subconsciously told himself that it was best not to be too close to the elephant, so he parked the car on the roadside and carefully observed the animal in front of him, trying to figure out why this elephant stood alone on the road. Mason speculated that the elephant might have strayed from the herd and was waiting for its companions in place, but was this really the case? Mason waited patiently in the car for an hour, but the elephant still stood still, even its tail and ears completely stationary. This is a very strange thing. Generally speaking, a resting elephant will occasionally swing its tail to drive away flies and even twitch its ears to make a sound, but this elephant only stands completely stiff. Exhausted Mason wanted to go home very much, and even forgot the purpose of this trip. However, the mysterious behavior of the elephant deeply attracted him. He wanted to find out the truth, so he did not leave, but continued to observe the elephant. Finally, after a long and careful observation, Mason began to realize that something was wrong with the elephant. Although he could not determine what was wrong with the elephant, years of experience made him realize that this matter must not be simple, so he decided to approach the elephant and observe it closely. Mason knew it was a crazy decision, but he had no choice. Mason approached the elephant carefully and drove as slowly as possible without disturbing the animal. The elephant heard the sound of the door closing and subconsciously raised its head. The elephant's move also left Mason frozen in place on the spot, and he didn't know how the giant animal would react. To Mason's surprise, the elephant did not move, and Mason remained quietly in place. After taking a look at Mason, the elephant turned its gaze away from him, which made Mason puzzled. The elephant's secret has always fascinated Mason, and he slowly approaches it like a man possessed. Because Mason holds a telescope in his hand, he doesn't need to get too close to find the problem. However, when Mason focused his camera on the elephant, he was shocked by the image that appeared before him. He was surprised to find that the elephant's eyes were filled with tears, and it looked very painful. It turned out that it was crying for help. Although Mason did not know what the elephant had experienced, he loved animals without hesitation and was determined to help the poor animal. Considering that it may not be possible to completely rescue it on its own, Mason called the local wildlife rescue center. After briefly explaining the situation, the rescue center immediately dispatched a professional rescue team to the scene. While waiting for the rescuers to arrive, 
he realized that the elephant might not be able to move normally, so the brave mason decided to come to him. The elephant also realized that humans were approaching, but it still didn't make any aggressive moves. It just stared at Mason, and Mason felt a sadness in the elephant's eyes. He tried to make eye contact with the elephant, hoping that this would alleviate the pain of the elephant. Mason sat a few meters away from the elephant, completely at a loss. Looking at the elephant's appearance, Mason was completely heartbroken. He is looking forward to the rescue workers arriving soon. As time passed by, Mason finally heard the sound of the engine. He looked in the direction of the sound, and it was indeed the rescue worker's car. He ran excitedly to greet him and gave more information to the rescue workers. After learning the situation, they decided to immediately rescue the elephant. When the crowd walked behind the elephant, everyone was shocked, and they finally understood what had happened. It turned out that there was a huge abscess on the back of the elephant, and the severe injury made everyone present imaginable the pain it had endured. Rescue workers immediately began to calm the giant animal. However, due to the size of the elephant, they were unable to bring it to the rescue center before it fell asleep. However, the elephant's next move surprised everyone. Before losing consciousness completely, the elephant wrapped its nose around Mason's leg. Mason was frightened by this sudden behavior, and he did not understand why the elephant did so. However, in order not to wake the elephant, Mason did not resist, but began to gently touch its head. Under this warm touch, the elephant quickly lost consciousness. Realizing that the elephant was already completely calm, rescue workers immediately took action to remove the abscess. They injected the elephant with medication and rubbed the injection site. The crowd took the quickest action, as the elephant would wake up at any moment. After the rescue workers completed a series of treatments, they found that the elephant was slowly waking up. Due to the fear that the elephant would attack, Mason and the rescue workers immediately ran to the car a few feet away. They watched the elephant slowly stand up and try to restore its state. When the elephant did not move within a few minutes, they began to wonder if there was a problem. After a while, the elephant finally began to move slowly. Although it started walking very slowly, it also made everyone feel relieved. Slowly, the elephant began to swing its tail and strode up. Seeing this picture, everyone present was very excited because they knew that they had successfully rescued the elephant. Just as the crowd was preparing to leave, what happened next made them unforgettable for a lifetime. The elephant walked slowly towards them and gently wrapped its nose around Mason's body, as if expressing its gratitude. Thank you.